Abbott A for Bruxism and Quadralized Patients by Alessio Rodaelli, Milan, Italy. Dear colleagues, uh, it is uh, really a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, Vitaly, for this kind invitation and uh, for this uh, commitment you gave me for this movie. Vitaly asked me to tell you my opinion and to share with you my experience on the treatment of the master muscle, the oval of the face and in Brooks's patients. Here you have uh, my uh, assistant, Anna. Uh, she is, of course, a very beautiful lady, but uh, she has a, a light uh, Brooks's command, command here, uh, clench. I don't know if you can see the superficial belly of uh, the masseter muscle that probably you saw with uh, Isaban uh, before. Uh, here you can uh, feel uh, with one finger, you can feel uh, where is uh, the anterior uh, edge of the muscle and posteriorly, I remember you that uh, about here you have the parotid gland and uh, the posterior side of the masseter muscle. Here you have the zygomatic bone and uh, you know that uh, the masseter muscle is inserted here on the mandible and here on the uh, zygomatic bone. Then I should want to remind you that uh, on a line from uh, tragus uh, to the, super, to the uh, superior lip, uh, just in the middle you have uh, the very famous uh, uh, parotid adductus. But what I want uh, to underline you is that uh, the risorius muscle that uh, starts from here, you know, as probably you saw with uh, Isaban uh, uh, anatomical courses, uh, the risorius uh, is uh, a very important muscle that is inserted here on the parotidal fascia. Uh, many fibers are here. And uh, here you see clench, clench, Okay, here I feel the masseter muscle about, and uh, this is a very important uh, warning area, because if you injecting the masseter muscle, you inject in the muscle, you don't have problems, but if you inject superficially in the skin here, very frequently you have uh, a diffusion in the final fibers, uh, or excuse me, in the starting fibers of the risorius muscle, and you can get uh, some asymmetries, the most frequent side effect of the treatment of uh, masseter muscle. So, how can we do practically the study and treatment of uh, bruxism and quadralized patients? Here you see Valentina, another of my assistants, quite all my assistants uh, are affected by bruxism they live with me, and this is why. So, uh, you check uh, where is uh, the master muscle with uh, your finger, you can check it uh, very well. And uh, for bruxism, normally I use, uh, as you know, abobotulinum toxin, and I do three points uh, with uh, 15, 15, and 15 units uh, of abobotulinum toxin A. This is for bruxism. When instead you have uh, the quadralization of the patient, so you need more units. And so, uh, again, I check where is the masseter muscle, and uh, normally for quadralized the patients, so where I want to reduce the shape of the muscle, I do four points. Again, abobotulinum toxin, but I arrive to 20, 20, 20, 20 units, so totally, 80 units, uh, that is a good uh, amount of units uh, of abobotulinum toxin to get a good uh, reduction of the shape.